What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm taking a Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. You could also use, just use a Galaxy Watch 4. And I'm gonna connect it to a non-Samsung phone. This specifically is the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Now, if you wanted to do this on any other Android phone, it should be the exact same process. It shouldn't be any different versus any other phone. So again, this is a non-Samsung phone. So if the Pixel Fold comes out or some other you know, Xiaomi or Huawei or whatever phone you use, it should all work. So, well, maybe not Huawei because they don't have Google Play Store, but still. With that said, let's go into the process of setting this up. It says, welcome, I'm gonna swipe up, and it says, getting started in the Galaxy wearable app on your phone. Let's just go to the Google Play Store next. So I actually do have the Galaxy wearable app like I showed you installed. I'm gonna update it though, because it needs to be updated. Once you have it installed, updated, whatever, make sure you click open next. Because when we go into open, we're gonna hit start, allow, and you can see it shows up automatically. All right, so choose your device as long as they both match up. And it's asking me to pair and connect. So I'm gonna hit pair and connect right here. It's showing the number, I'm hitting pair. All this is working perfectly. It's telling me to install the Galaxy Watch 4 manager. I'm gonna hit okay. Install. I'm gonna hit the back button since this app is now installed and see what it goes to on the next one. It might bring us back to doing this setup again. All right, sign in for more features. So I can, if I sign in with my, my Google, uh, my Samsung account, I'll get Samsung Health back and back up and restore, bring up Bixby, find my watch. I'm just gonna, I guess I'll sign in so we can get the full experience. I'm just gonna hit, you can agree or disagree. Usage and diagnostics, I usually turn that off, so I'll turn that off. Everything else I'll agree to. Getting your watch ready, this may take a few minutes. And on the watch, you can see, check your phone for a complete setup. So we'll just let this run and do its thing. Getting Google account info, this may take a few minutes. All right, now it's asking me to sign into my Google account, sign into your Google account on your watch to use Google apps, download new apps, and use Find My Device. So I will continue with my email account. All right, it's now copying my accounts over. Okay, it says if you've backed this up on a previous watch, try restoring to make it easier. I'm just gonna hit skip because I actually have done that on, on, another, on another phone, but I'll just hit skip and that way we'll just start fresh here. And you can see finishing up, this may take a few minutes. All right, great, so now it says I'm all set and it also says it on here. Well, it did this for a second ago. It says starting and I can come in here on this phone, this, this Pixel phone, and I can go into watch faces, for instance, and change that out just like you could on a Samsung Galaxy phone. You can go to classic and do graphical kind of stuff. Informative, simple. So I'll change it here just to, to do something. I'll do this uh, global goals one and it should. This is just gonna walk me through a tour of the watch. So there you guys go, it already automatically change that swipe down. Besides that, you can go into your app screen and you can rearrange these if you want, just like you could, again, on a Samsung phone. Go to the, oh, I should, well, I'll save that, what are my little move there. I can go into tiles and change and add these up if I want. And then also you have your watch settings. So you can come in here and go into like different advanced features and things like that and change that up. So this looks like it's, you know, oh, we can go into watch software updates. I think there was a, a big one. I don't know if it installed it yet. Is it checking on here? Don't miss a thing. But ultimately, yeah, so you can get this to run and get updates and it's you can see it's connecting to the server right now. So if you wanted to run this Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 on another phone, any another Android phone I should say, um, you can do it and you can get your notifications and things like that and uh, communicate with the watch through it. So it's definitely a, a great watch to get. I don't use it that much. I'm not a huge watch person, at least I haven't been. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys love it. It's get, it gets rave reviews. And the, in the short time I used it, I enjoyed it a lot. It just is, For me, it's a hassle to have to always put on a watch. And that's really why I don't really use it. But there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you down the road. Peace.